What's good, YouTube? Your boy Bosco back again, hitting the streets today. It's raffle day. We hitting up a few shoe palaces to try to hit on these Jordan 4 reimagines. Definitely something I want to add to my collection. Hopefully we can get a size 13. We got to hit up a few locations, starting with Topanga, and we got Van Nuys, and we got Sherman Oaks and Northridge, giving ourselves the best chance to win. So we got the Kobe Crazy 8s. This is the all-star one. I thought they had the uh, all-star patch. Maybe that's the other side. Yeah, the all-star patch on this. You got the 98 right there. Definitely clean, man. Still full retail, of course, because they're they all-star weekend. But let me know if you guys are feeling these or not. The classic shoe, Cole Rewardies, 140 on the retail. Well, I feel like the raffles, I came here to look and see what shoes they had. They have a lot of retros here that you guys still might be interested in, though. This place is low-key, so they have retros around a little longer than most stores do. So we got two of them down here right now. Two down. Let's go get some more. Second shoe palace of the day. Go ahead and fill out another raffle for these Fords right here, you dig? Got these slides down to 19 bucks now. Normally, like 50, 60 bucks down to 19 dollars is a super steal. We're probably gonna have to scoop this one up for sure. Good to see that though, man. And they do have a decent basketball selection over here as we talked about before, 49 bucks on here. And this location also has that job one, man. 140 on the retail. I like this color combination as I spoke to you guys about it before. Reminds me of a what the vibe. Let me know if you guys are feeling these job ones in the comments below. These flight 89s or flight light mids are 79 bucks on them in case you guys are looking for this colorway. Definitely a clean one. And this colorway is still full retail at 149. Definitely a clean color scheme. I talked about these Air Force Ones on my Bosco 2.0 channel. They're finally here. They weren't supposed to come out for a little while, but that's good to see that they've been pushed out a little early too. Another shoe palace for another raffle entry. So we came for this one, but they also have this, the KD Galaxy 4, bro. Not many places have these. Some of the things that we've seen before, of course, Jordan 13s, 3s, two most recent releases still here available. Look at these threes, man. The quality on them is looking amazing, man. Quality on these threes is looking dope. And I like this colorway for the 13, for real. They do have the Galaxy raffle here at this shoe palace. I wonder if they're gonna sit around like this KD3. Probably not. Still got the stadium greens down to 99 bucks, along with this new colorway of the John Morant. Let's go see what's here. For some reason, they got one gate closed. I hope everything's cool. Checking out the reduced section really quick. Still got these for 140. They marked these down to 110 now. Kind of close to what we see in that shoe palace at the $99 price point. These just look dope on camera, man. Let me know what you guys think about those 2002 R's. Same running selection here. Definitely dope. So this JD got those for 170, but they got the, got the Conkylin down to 160, bro, from 200. Y'all know how I feel about these. They creeping on down in the price too, and they got size 8 through 13, which means a lot of people didn't scoop them up. But like I've been hearing them in comments in my videos, if they went down to maybe a little bit lower, people would start to scoop them up. But at this 200 price point, people being really iffy on that, and I don't blame you. And I know we still around the Chinese New Year in real life, so these are not gonna go down anytime soon, but we can't wait till these do drop in price if they do. Sell for 75 bucks, you definitely can't go wrong with that, and this colorway is not too bad. And these are down to 120 bucks. I'm kind of surprised to see this. I shouldn't be because everything's going on sale, but every place we've been seeing been having these is still full retail. Now we got them to 185. Definitely dope to see this, bro. 185. Stop by Champ Sports Topanga to see what they had in here while we we're filling out raffle tickets for the fours. What do you think about this new colorway, 9060? Not a bad color combination on these. Still full retail at 150. One of the few locations that have this LeBron NXT. Definitely a clean colorway. We talked about it before, 170 on the retail. They also have the Murray State colorway of the Jaw One. Definitely impressive. I like the color combination. Represents his college. White also, can't go wrong with these. 140, or no, 120 on the retail. These things have been 120, 110, 130, and 140 all for one shoe. Stepped in the Foot Locker really quick to see if they would have any All-Star sneakers. The only spot we've seen so far today with an All-Star sneaker is Shoe Palace Van Nuys with those Kobe's. Everything else here is something that we have seen before. Same thing with the continued basketball section. Everything here we have seen before. Really good selection though. Let me know if there's anything that you guys think stand out. LeBron's, Jaws, KD's, Zoom Freaks. Yet another Shoe Palace location. 
for another rifle. This blue colorway at the Spitzike is not bad. Once again, in the smaller size, but they do come in men's sizes as well. Let me know if you guys are impressed by the new look of these uh, Spitzikes in the comments below. Second location with these in deck. Let me know if you got their fan of these, 110 on the retail. And of course, they got pandas on deck still. You can't forget those. And they still got these on deck. Of course, we're not surprised to see this shoe still in store. And these ones are pretty dope too. This color combination is not too bad. Jordan 1 Comfort 2. Definitely some fall winter vibes. Still full retail. Pretty dope on these. Let me know if you guys are feeling this colorway. Kind of a coffee brown, 99 bucks. Another colorway, same colorway of the Jordan Stadium 90. Got the new buck upper, pretty clean. Blue colorway on the 9D60, definitely pretty clean. 140 on the retail. This yellow one really pops out too, but I definitely like that blue one a little more. Air Trainer 1 low, 125 on the retail. I'm ready school LeBron 21s. Not many locations got them. Still a dope looking shoe though. JD Sports Northridge, let's see what they got in here today. KD 16s. Nike KD 16, 60 bucks. Kind of crazy for these. Finally went down on the price, man. 60 bucks for these is definitely a steal. Let's think about this color combination on this Dunk Low. Not really my cup of tea, but maybe some people out there like them. 115 on the retail. The Air Force One to match. Give me your thoughts on these. 125 on the retail. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway. A Nike Dunk Low. Yet another one on the grade school side. 90 bucks. University blue, navy blue. Definitely a dope color combination. And of course they got pandas along with the georgetowns and like some uh valentine's day color scheme too for these mints look good i like the color combination and the materials are not too bad on either one of them both of these are women's jordan one mids let me know if you guys are feeling either one of them more than the other both of these are pretty clean air max plus drift color combination is definitely not bad 175 on the retail and they got both colorways here that are out so far. What do you guys think about these boots right here? 149 in the retail for those. Perfect. 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 First, we just got some exciting news that for the holiday of 2024, we're getting the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement Reimagine retailing for 220 bucks. Yep, in 2023, Jordan Brand introduced the Jordan 3 White Cement Reimagine, echoing the 1988 style with the vintage twist. Now, for the holiday of 2024, they're bringing back the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement Reimagined. Back in 2018, the Air Jordan 3 Black Cement returned featuring the iconic Nike Air branding. Of course, recreating the 1988 design for the nostalgic feel. These do have the aged midsole, which some people do like about these reimagines. There's been a lot of suggestions of what this could look like. Will it have a tumbled leather base or will it have a suede base that's kind of up in the air? Let me know if that makes it or break it. If it came in a new book or suede upper, would you like it as opposed to a leather? Give me your feedback about that in the comments below. And it's pretty exciting to see that the Jordan 3 reimagines are dropping because we were hearing rumors a couple of days ago that the Air Jordan 3 Black Cat was returning for the holiday of 2024. Instead, that will now be dropping in the spring of 2025 for a retail price of 200 bucks. This Black Cat Jordan 3 initially dropped in 2007, but now it's making its way back in 2025. Lots of sneakerheads like the Jordan 3 Black Cats because of the upper that's all black with the new buck material. You also have the elephant print and patent leather overlays. This is truly one of the iconic colorways of the Air Jordan 3. Let me know if you guys are excited that they pushed these back to 2025 and gave us the reimagined 3s in 2024. Give me your feedback on that. Let's go ahead and jump back into the content, you dig? By Nike again because I wanted to see if they had any all-star releases. Plus, I had to make an exchange. I got the wrong size last time. Let me know what you guys think about this colorway though. This one is definitely pretty solid. Metallic gold Jordan 1s, man. Not a bad colorway though. The metallic gold definitely shines. Got the gum outsole. Really good material for sure, bro. Fire. Jordan MVP, AKA 678, is definitely a solid colorway. Let me know if you guys are a fan of these or not. Definitely impressive. Back at Nike again, and <laughs> look what we have here, bro. The LeBron. Queen's couch, kind of reminiscent of the Oblong Pearl, just a different colorway. These are truly fire indeed. $210 on the retail for this all-star sneaker. Look at the detail of them. Let me know what you guys think about these. Almost have the same color tone as the bike colorway for the Jaw 1, but of course much better. I'm truly impressed by these. 
Is this LeBron's best colorway so far, the 21? I know I'm a really big fan of the Kylans right there, but this one is fire. And they got, okay, they got a nice selection of LeBrons here. They got this Cosmo Unity 3, paying homage to the Jason Kidd shoe. Definitely fire in hand, much impressive. First time seeing these in hand, man. These are definitely clean. Rating these from a one to 10, I have to give these a solid nine, maybe even a 10, $200 in the retail, something I don't like. Now we got the Nike GT Hustle 2 with that Air. This is the All-Star Edition. This one here is fire. Paying homage to the old 90s. The All-Star Weekend colorway, 180 bucks on the retail. Of course, paying homage to that more up-tempo. These are even better in person, man. And they have the dope Zoom Freak 5 All-Star. One shoe's red with white. The other one's white with red. These are definitely impressive. I like this colorway. I like the patent leather shine on them. Thanks for sharing. So of these four All-Star sneakers, let me know which one you guys like the most. We got the Zoom Freak 5 All-Star. Very clean, got the uh, patent leather touch, white with the red, the other shoes red with white. Then we got the Nike GT Hustle 2, giving a shout out to that Air More Up Tempo. Definitely a clean colorway on these, only 180 bucks on the retail. Then of course we got the Nike GT Cut 5, reminiscent of that old Jason Kidd shoe right here. I like the color combination and then they just executed to make it look like one of the older shoes. Then we got the LeBron 21 Conkylin, which is also Actually, not the Kylan, it's the Queen's Couch, the All-Star Edition, kind of almost in a look of the Oblong Pearl 21. But of these uh, Nike Basketball All-Star shoes for 2024, which one do you guys like the most? Then we got four dope colorways at the LeBron 21. We got the Algae colorway, which is definitely solid. Retail 200 bucks. You got the long hair suede on these. Then you got the LeBron 21 Kylan. Full detail review on my channel. I love the Iridescent Pearl Splash on that upper. Then we got the uh, Aragonite colorway with the denim material. Definitely a solid LeBron 21. Definitely fire. And then we also got the uh, Queen's Couch, which is the All-Star A Weekend edition of the LeBron 21. All four of these are definitely impressive. If I had to go in order, I might go, it's kind of confusing. Let me know what you guys list them in order. It might be, it's hard. I think I want to go Kylan, Queen's Couch, Aragonite, and then the Algae. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Like your basketball section is definitely on point. All-Star Weekend releases and everything else under the sun. GT Hustles. Gore-Tex Jordan 1s, Jordan 3s, Jordan 13s. A lot of dope stuff here at Nike, the Grove. Let me know what you guys think is the best sneaker here. I like this colorway of the Nike Luna Rome. Let me know if you guys are feeling these, 150 on the retail. Of course, they still have the Racer Blues. Everything else here we've pretty much seen. Mac Attacks. And they also have this one as a return. I've seen this one time at the outlet. I like the colorway and the materials are really good on this. You got like the satin around the collar and the uh, Nike swoosh here and the heel cup. Let me know what you guys think about this one. Hey, yo, bro, who y'all think got the best handles, y'all? Man, Kyrie off tops. Hold on, better than Jamal Crawford? What? Easy.